Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Longwood, Florida for Micro South. This is a biannual gathering of some of the smallest and certainly some of the quirkiest cars ever built. Vespas, Gogomobiles, Messerschmitts, they're all here. Now, actually, there aren't all that many of these micro cars left around, so as you can imagine, this isn't a very big show. But hey, neither are the cars. Let's get around and check a few of these little babies out. Billy, I think I met you, what, like three or four years ago. I was shooting this show down at the Old Town Kissimmee. Yes. And I saw my first Gogo mobile It was yours. It was mine. <laughs> and I mean, they're just such comical cars. And I, I, you know, hadn't really paid much attention to micro cars before that. But man, this show was a blast. How did it get started? Well, we, uh, my wife and I went to an auction and we saw our first Isetta in 2003. Was it, was it this one? It was not this one. Uh, <laughs> there so are more. Did, there are more <laughs> Isettas out there. And uh, so we went to a, uh, a uh, we looked into the history of the car, um, found out that there was a club for these cars and uh, went to a meet that was not so far from us. and. Uh, found out there was all different shapes, sizes, colors, and uh, soon after that we became microcar owners, and we decided that uh, that event was every two years on the odd years, yeah. and then we decided we would do our own event every two years on the even years. This is not a huge show, but there aren't many of these around. Right. This is uh, a big show for little cars. <laughs> I guess when there aren't many microcar shows, people come to them when they have microcars. Yes, it's a very loyal group. People come all the way with cars from as far as Canada and uh, people that came without cars all the way from Germany. Wow. They're interesting cars and really interesting owners. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And that's what we like about it. The people are as interesting as their cars, which is not always true. Well, you know, let's, uh, what the heck? Let's take this one for a spin. Cl close, close this up. Well, you know, Jim, one of the things I love about this show is I see all these cars that I've never seen before. And this is another one that I've never seen before. This is a, a it's a Zundop, right? That's correct. A Zundop, what, Jan, Janus? Yes, it's a Zundop Janus 250, although it looks like 750 on the insignia. Yeah, yeah it does. Now, now, Zundop was, they made motorcycles, uh, like World War II, they were one of the big... Correct. They made kind of heavy duty. Yes, and, very heavy duty motorcycles for the military as well as BMW. This car is based on a scooter, basically. It's an upgrade, it's an enclosed scooter. Now, Janus, what, where does the name come from? Uh, they named it Janus after the Greek god that looks forward and back. Okay. Well, it kind of it looks a little bit symmetrical. So that's right. I can it looks, see it's, that. it's very symmetrical. Now it also it also I'm I'm seeing some Izetta here. I mean, this, does this yes. door open like an Izetta? Yes, the door opens very similar to an Izetta. We open her up. Yes. Oh, okay. So, but unlike an Izetta, uh, the steering wheel doesn't come out with it. That's correct. It doesn't. It stays fixed. That's not that convenient. No, it's not as convenient as the Izetta. It, uh, it makes it more difficult to get in, uh, and it makes it a little more difficult to get out. Okay, so you say it looks forward and back. Does it do a similar trick and back? Uh, let's go see. All right. And so it does, look at that. And so, some, something's missing. <laughs> well, so not only does the car look you know, the same front and back, but obviously the passengers look forward and back too. I mean, it's a, what, a four passenger car? Correct, the, the fam it's meant for a family. The parents sit up front and the kids will sit in back or your luggage can go in the back. Yeah. Well, uh, a, the, the curious thing, though, is that the engine's not in front, the engine's not in back. Yeah. So where's the engine? That's a problem. Yes, uh, it is. <laughs> it's actually, it, the car is very symmetrical, as you said, and so therefore the engine is right in here the in the center? middle. In the center? Yes. Can you, can you show me the engine? Absolutely. How do, how, do you, how do you do that? Well, I have to just crawl in the car for a minute and pull the seats forward and yank up the engine cover. What do, what do we have there? We have a, a single cylinder. It's a single cylinder, two stroke Zundap motor. Okay, and putting out what kind of horsepower? You know, I, I believe this puts out 14 horsepower, which is just a little more than the Izetta, but out of a 250 engine. What a bizarre car. I mean, there can't be many of these around. No, there's, uh, there's only about, I think there's around 14, and somebody will call me and correct me, about, about 14 of these in the US. They were originally imported. Uh, I believe a distributor in New York had about 20 of them and they may have sold six or seven of them, and the rest of them, Just no one knows what happened. <laughs> what um, a bizarre, it's the first one I've seen. 
Jim. I, thanks Thank for you. bringing this baby out. The Zundop Janus, right? Yes. Zundop Janus. Look forward, look back. Wow. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, you know, JC, I've always loved Messerschmitts. Uh, I just think they're such funky little cars. But this one is one of the rare Tigers, a four-wheel Messerschmitt, because they're typically three-wheel, right? That's correct. This is actually a, a Roadster, though. It is. It's a Roadster. They, uh, of the 300 of these Tigers that were built, 50 were Roadsters. Wow. Uh, there's, a, they, they, there's approximately 10 Roadsters left in the world, and we believe this is the only Roadster in, Tiger in the U.S. In the U.S. What powered this? The, T, the Tiger this 500 is, this, was a... This is a, uh, a two-stroke, two-cylinder engine. It's actually 494 cubic inches. Parallel? Parallel. parallel. And it sounds like two chainsaw motors running at one time. <laughs> and it has an awesome amount of power for such a light car. Wait, uh, can I open it? Oh, this, sure, is the, this is the sure. engine go, access go, here? Go right ahead. Uh -huh. Not Let's much access. Engine. Not much. But if you need full access, this whole rear oh, section right from here? pulls off. That's okay. correct. Uh -huh. And is it, is it fiberglass? Or is no, it that's steel? all metal. That's is that all metal. Right? Sure oh. is. Well, the other thing I, I, I love about uh, Measuresmiths is just how you get in them. Yeah. I mean, open yeah. that up for me. Okay, sure. Yeah, and it's like a, it's a cockpit. It is because the the predecessor company Messerschmitt actually FMR was the company that produced these, but we refer to them as Messerschmitt. But the Messerschmitt company is actually the company that built airplanes during sure. World War II and prior. And so this car has a lot of similarities and a lot of carryover from the aviation industry. A lot of it's, it's Messerschmitt heritage. Yeah, and, heritage. and as well as, as how the seats work, how the passengers work. Uh, in that, the, the front fenders, as we know them in the U.S., are referred to as wings. Uh huh. Well, you know, and again, you see, instead of a steering wheel, you really have kind of a yoke there. Again, very, you know, aviation. That's uh, correct. Really. That's correct. Now, I also thought of these, uh, the the smaller ones, the three wheelers, were all a, a sequential motorcycle type transmission, right? Well, Bang that's bang. right. The three wheelers. But this wheelers, looks like an H pattern. The four wheel. That's that's absolutely correct. The four wheelers had an H pattern, four speed forward, and it has a reverse. Uh huh. And uh, it shifts just like a conventional four speed transmission. So uh, very advanced for, for Metro Smith. Yeah. Can I close it? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, the, the, it's a Roadster, which makes it so rare. But I'm telling you, with the top up, oh, yeah. I mean, it just, it, this thing looks tough. I love this we, car. We think it's awesome. <laughs> and, you, and you drive this, right? I mean, we you, do. We do. It's, it's a driver. We have a lot of fun with it. And it is just fantastic to drive because it's so fast and but, it's quick. It's, and it corners well. Just uh, <laughs> all the good things of a race car. You're a madman. Yeah. JC, I absolutely hey, love your message. Thank you for having us on your show. Still ahead, we'll get a look at more wild micro cars from Microsoft in Longwood, Florida. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Stephen, this is a wild little machine. I, I've seen a lot of Fiat, seen 500s, I've seen 600s. This is a Multipla. What year? 59. 59. And how many did they, did they make a lot of these? They I mean, did, they made quite a few. Unfortunately, they were considered essentially disposable vehicles. Use them, use them up, throw them away. Wow, so not many left? No, very few. It looks like a really well thought out car. Very, very much ahead of its time. And for 59, I mean, it's got a, I think, a, you know, a nice interior. It's, it's you know, it almost, it almost looks Volkswagen, frankly. It's, you know, your, your basic vinyl and, and clean looking. Uh, not much for gauging, no. a no. speedometer. Uh, Safe car too. It has, has an airbag? Yes. <laughs> you just have to blow it up really fast. <laughs> the car's slow, you'll have plenty of time. So what uh, what is powering this little baby? A 600 uh, cc engine, 636. Air, air cooled? I mean, it looks like we're air cooled back here with the vents. Looks like it, but it's not, it's water cooled. Oh wow. Boy, is that a, a clean installation. Thank you. I mean, it's a little, what, a little four cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. 600 cc. So the vents are actually just to let air in, sucked into this pump, and, and, and you get your water cooling. There you have it. You hope, anyway. Yeah. Right? Until the water leaks out, yeah. then, then it's air cooled. <laughs> For a little while, anyway. <laughs> so it, it even has uh, what looks like an early version of stow and go seating. Can we look at that? Absolutely. So what you're saying is that the seats that are up will do the same things that these. They'll go down, and these ones here will go up. Positively. Show me. Quite creative design. Man, you, that, you know, that's amazing. Actually, that's a lot better than the, the minivans of today. They don't operate that easily. 
I agree. So, and you were telling me this was actually Iacocca's inspiration for the for the minivan? That's my story. <laughs> oh, and you're sticking to it, right? Absolutely. Man, I love it. Fiat Multipla, right? Thank you. Very well. 1959. Cool, cool ride. Well, uh, Ken, this is a, a cute little one. Uh, this is a, a Vespa, and it wasn't until just a couple years ago that I actually even knew Vespa made cars. Mm -hmm. I always thought of them as scooters, but I ran into one, I don't know, someplace in Canada, actually, and realized they made a car, too. When, when did they make the cars? It started in about 1956 through, uh -huh. I think, 60 is when they were What made. year is this one? This is a 58. And uh, it was obviously Italian-made. Why'd they, why'd they stop? Well, Fiat told them who Fiat bought they bought parts from Fiat for the motors and engines, and Fiat said, if you're gonna get into the car business, we're gonna get into the scooter business. Uh -huh. And they decided that was not mm, what they wanted yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna go head to head with, with Fiat anything. <laughs> so this is a, a Vespa what? Four hundred. Vespa four hundred. Okay, and uh, I like this. Did they all have this whatever sunroofy thing, whatever you call it? it? Inexpensive rudimentary convertible top to get air in. And did all Vespas have this or were some yes, hard tops? They all had this, That was right? indicative of the Vespa series. So I don't imagine it's a power top. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a power top. <laughs> Up she goes, down she goes, huh? It's a, uh, you got a shift lever there. Is it a four speed or three it's speed? It's a three speed with reverse. Uh-huh. Uh, it's parking brake in the middle and your starting lever and your choke lever in the middle. And when you say starting lever. It's a manual engaging starter. You pull the lever, cable pulls the arm on the starter and, and puts the bendix oh, oh, out. So it's not a key start. You just no. turn the key on no, and pull key. that and boom, off we go, huh? Just a key ignition and wow. a manual starter. Well, and, and I'm assuming she's air-cooled? Correct. Let's have a look. Two-stroke, two-cylinder. Here, I'll get that out of the way for you. How's that? Two-stroke, two-cylinder. Okay. Boy, not, I mean, you can't even see it. What's, what's this? This is the blower housing. It blows inducted air across the head and out to the ground to cool the motor uh -huh. or duct it into the cockpit for heat. Oh, how does that work? Oh, it's kind of archaic. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a it's a two-stroke, so you two mix stroke, the oil like and the gas. It's a two-stroke, like a weed eater, fuel and gas. It has a metering device. You would select a gallon and a half of gas. You put the gallon of gas, gallon and a half of gas in here, and you just turn this lever, and it pumps the oil into your tank, so now you have the proper oil ratio. Oh, that's cool. So you don't actually, you don't physically have to mix it. No it, mess. Oh, nice. That's that's a that's a great idea, and it's actually again, it's a very simple. Pretty cutting edge for fifty nine. Yeah, 58. nice. Yes. Well, I'm sure glad you brought this one out. Thank you, Ken, sir. That's a beautiful little Vespa. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Don, this is a really cool little car. Actually, actually, all the cars here are little cars, and most of them are pretty cool. Yeah. But this is a Berkeley, right? It's a Berkeley, 1958 Berkeley. 58 from, Berkeley. Came from Bigglesweyde, England. Bigglesweyde, England. <laughs> yes, good old Bigglesweyde. Uh, it's a collaboration between Lori Bond and the Berkeley Company, which was famous for making caravans, or the British version uh, of camper trailers. Yeah, right, trailers, right. And the reason he chose that company was because they were experienced in working with fiberglass. So this is all, she's all, all fiberglass? Entire car is fiberglass. What powers the uh, the Berkeley? They have a 328, two-stroke, two-cylinder motorcycle engine. So it's not 328 cubic inch. It's no, three, no, three, 328 three, cubic six, centimeters. Two-stroke, two-cylinder, par two, parallel? Parallel cylinders, cylinders yeah. And, and who upright. manufactured the, the It's engine. an Excelsior motor. Really? You mean the like, motorcycle manufacturer? Wow, I mean that's a I mean that's that that's a, that's an Excelsior engine, you're right. Yep. Wow, that's pretty rare actually. It is rare. They they made very few motorcycles with its engine. So it's uh, it's chain drive? It's a chain drive. There's a small differential down there. Wow. Uh, to front wheel drive. Oh it's a front wheel drive. It's front wheel drive, wow. yeah. Now I know there's there's another kind of interesting feature on the Berkeley. Can I can I do this? Oh sure. Well sure. You know, I've been working out lately. Well, good. I have been working out. And You're I'm, looking good. I'm feeling good. Let me let me see how this works here. Not bad, eh? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to do that with a, a Hummer someday, but... Uh. Uh, <laughs> well, this, this is a great car, man, and it's got to be a blast you. drive. You had a good time at the show? Had a great time. It's a wonderful thing here in uh, Orlando with Billy Paul and his micro car show. We always come. Fun time. Wouldn't miss it for anything. Yeah, well, you got, great you got the only Berkeley here? That's the only one. Thanks a lot, Don. Thank you. Beautiful car. Thank you. Oh, man. We had a blast at Micro South. These little cars are an absolute kick. If you ever get a chance, check this show out. It'll make you a believer. It's a small world after all. <laughs>